Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International with Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held an iftar banquet at Sakhir Palace yesterday evening on the occasion of the advent of the holy month of Ramadan in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Their Highnesses, Royal Council members and senior members of the Royal Family who expressed good wishes to His Majesty the King on the occasion of the Holy Month and wished His Majesty abundant health and happiness and many happy returns for the Kingdom, its people under His Majesty's leadership. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation for their sincere feelings and also congratulated people and residents of Bahrain on the occasion. His Majesty the King also extended congratulations to the loyal people of Bahrain and expatriate communities living in the Kingdom on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan, wishing Bahrain as well as the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns and progress and prosperity. His Majesty affirmed that the holy month of Ramadan is the month of worship, compassion, togetherness and harmony among all praying to Allah the Almighty that it be a month of goodness and blessings for all and enhances the values and principles of brotherhood, solidarity, cohesion and communication among all the people of Bahrain. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace yesterday evening in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs and National Security Advisor, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Speaker of the Representative Council, Mr. Ahmed bin Salman Al Msallam, and the Chairman of the Shura Council, Mr. Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh 
who extended to His Majesty the King congratulations and blessings on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless His Majesty the King for the welfare of the nation and to Bahrain and its people continued progress and prosperity under His Majesty's leadership. His Majesty exchanged congratulations to them on this holy occasion and thanking them for their kind congratulations and noble sentiments, asking Allah to accept their fasting. His Majesty expressed his thanks and appreciation to the speakers of the Shura and representative councils and members of both chambers for their efforts and sincere national stances, praising the important role of the legislative authority in supporting the process of civilized renaissance, promoting the democratic approach, defending the country's issues and higher interests, expressing the citizens' aspirations and consolidating the kingdom's prestigious position and reputation in global parliamentary forums. His Majesty expressed his thanks and appreciation for the good preparation and organization of the Kingdom of Bahrain hosting the 146th session of the General Assembly of the Inter-Parliamentary Union and the success achieved by this meeting which represents a success for Bahrain and its people and comes within the successes and achievements made by Bahrain this year. His Majesty stressed the importance of continuing to enhance fruitful cooperation and coordination between the legislative and executive authorities and their constructive work to continue our blessed march towards further development and enhancement. His Majesty praised the pioneering achievements and great civilizational development in all fields. His Majesty also expressed his pride in the giving of the people of Bahrain and their vital contribution to supporting the development and process taking place in the country. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhriya Palace yesterday evening in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Vice President of the Supreme Judicial Council, President of the Court of Cassation, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the President of the Constitutional Court, Abdullah bin Hassan Al Bu'anain, Attorney General Dr. Ali bin Fadl Al Bu'anain, President of the National Audit Court, Audit Office, Sheikh Ahmed bin Muhammad Al Khalifa, and members of the Supreme Judicial Council who extended to His Majesty sincere congratulations and blessings on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan, praying to Allah the Almighty many happy returns, and to His Majesty abundant health, and to Bahrain and its loyal people further security safety, prosperity, and progress. His Majesty the King exchanged congratulations with them, wishing many happy returns. During the meeting, His Majesty expressed pride of the judiciary system in the Kingdom of Bahrain, which is an ancient judiciary and is constantly evolving for the better and stems from the principles and values of the people of Bahrain. His Majesty expressed his appreciation to the presidents of the judicial bodies for their efforts and their tireless work in serving the country and the citizens and their responsibility and trust in achieving justice, securing the rights of citizens and residents, and defending their cases according to the law, stressing the important role played by the judiciary in promoting the principles of justice and equality and preserving rights and freedoms. His Majesty also praised the continued efforts of the President of the National Audit Office for the outstanding performance and the achievements they have made in the framework of preserving public money and verifying the safety and legality of its spending. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir pa Palace yesterday evening in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs and National Security Advisor, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, Along with the members of the Council Presidents of the Sunni Endowment Council, Sheikh Dr. Rashid bin Muhammad Al Hajri, and President of the Jafri Endowment Council, Yusuf bin Salah Al Saleh, who extended to His Majesty the King congratulations and blessings on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan, wishing His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness, and to Bahrain and its people further progress, welfare, and prosperity under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King. His Majesty welcomed them and exchanged congratulations with them on this holy month praying to Allah the Almighty to make it a month of goodness and blessings and to accept fasting, prayers and good deeds from everyone and many happy return to Arab and Muslim countries. His Majesty expressed his pride in the achievements of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs 
and what the people of Bahrain are achieving in this field, which stems from their sincerity and noble nature. His Majesty praised the vital role played by the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs in serving the true Islamic religion, showing its eminence, spreading its tolerant teachings, raising awareness of its constants based on moderation, rejecting extremism and intolerance, advocating adherence to virtuous morals, and promoting the values of brotherhood, solidarity, compassion, and cooperation among all, and its benevolent endeavors and efforts in the service of all Muslim Islamic issues. His Majesty expressed his appreciation for the good efforts made by the endowment councils in taking care of the affairs of places of worship, preparing imams and preachers to spread the culture of tolerance and brotherhood, and directing religious discourse to promote the values of unity and national belonging based on tolerance, love, peace, coexistence, respect for the other, and the promotion of human brotherhood. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the Bahraini Youth Day represents an important national occasion in the march of the Kingdom of Bahrain as it evokes the important role that Bahraini youth play in shaping the future of Bahrain. And it is also an occasion to highlight the great capabilities and skills that they possess. Marking the occasion of the Bahraini Youth Day, which falls on the 25th of March, His Highness said that the youth of bah the kingdom have proven their worth with the achievements they have achieved that have consolidated their position and reinforced the bet on their awareness. His Highness said that the Kingdom of Bahrain is experiencing great and remarkable prosperity in all its sectors thanks to the care and support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for Bahraini youth and His Majesty's belief in the role of youth in building the future of Bahrain, in addition to the Bahraini youth's response to the call of the heart and mind launched by His Majesty, which contributed to motivating young people to be active models in society. His Highness Sheikh Nasser added that the programs and initiatives offered to youth have achieved a remarkable qualitative leap in their contents, ideas and message, thanks to the youth empowerment strategy developed by the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, among the priorities of the government's work program and the introduction of initiatives that promote youth, their skills, capabilities and projects to contribute to the success of national projects in various fields. His Highness continued to say that the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports has set its future policies aimed at empowering youth, advancing their projects, supporting them and instilling hope in them to build a comprehensive and promising future for youth by securing an attractive environment for the youth to present their energies, creativity and ideas and empower Bahraini youth and arm them with the knowledge. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa stated that the youth achievements made by the Kingdom's youth came in accordance with the great support provided to them and that they were the best ambassadors of the Kingdom of Bahrain in various forms as their initiatives and projects have contributed to supporting various sectors in addition to being an integral part and the implementation of national projects that contribute to shaping the future of Bahrain. His Highness concluded by saying that all the achievements of the Bahraini youth are appreciated by us and we are proud of them, calling upon all our Bahraini youth to integrate, unite and invest their energies to contribute to the rapid growth of the various sectors, especially the vital ones. His Highness also affirmed determination to move forward in caring for Bahraini youth and stand up by their side meeting their needs, supporting their projects, and working to empower Bahraini youth so that they can assume their true position and achieve Bahrain's hopes and aspirations for building growth and hope for the Kingdom of Bahrain. <clears throat> the Minister of Sustainable Development, Noor bint Ali Al Khlaif, has affirmed that the Kingdom has accelerated its efforts to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals within the framework of the Comprehensive Development March led by His Majesty the King and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Minister made the statements while addressing the United Nations Conference on the Mid-Term Comprehensive Review of the Implementation of the Objectives of the International Decade for Action, Water for Sustainable Development 2018-2028, which is held at the UN Headquarters. The event focuses on accelerating progress towards achieving water-related goals and objectives. In her speech, Al Khalif outlined the main pillars of the National Water Strategy 2030, which includes strengthening coordination among various bodies related to water, following up and monitoring the implementation of activities, programs and services, as well as increasing and spreading awareness among the consumers, 
noting that the strategy aims to ensure effective management of water resources and provide sustainable water supplies of the required quality for various economic sectors to promote sustainable development. She also appreciated the selection of the Kingdom by the United Nations and its affiliated Food and Agriculture Organization to present its successful experience and progress in achieving SDG 6, clean water and sanitation, stressing that these achievements are the outcomes of concerted national efforts in providing renewable sources of water. She indicated that by 2021, the Kingdom had been able to reduce the level of water stress to 156% as it was able to reduce one-fifth of the withdrawal of fresh water in 2000, while at the same time increasing the efficiency of water use by 80%, which confirms the country's commitment to sustainable water management. The Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Health launched Paramedic in Every House program, which included training 72 physical education teachers in 36 secondary schools over a three-year period to qualify them as first aid trainers and train the students in the field. This comes within the framework of implementing the winning ideas in the Government Innovation Competition FICRA under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The inauguration ceremony was attended by the Education Minister, Dr. Mohammed bin Mubarak Juma, and the Health Minister, Dr. Jalil bin Sayyid Jawad Hassan. The Education Minister praised the cooperation between the two ministries through joint work teams of specialist workshops and awareness lectures for students. The Health Minister said that the program aims to place the Kingdom among the first Arab countries to implement this national educational health program and activate students' role in a reducing number of fatal accidents. Within the framework of the keen desire of the Ministry of Social Development to strengthen community partnership between civil society institutions, a workshop was organized under the title Creativity and Innovation in Voluntary Work with the participation of a number of owners and affiliates of civil society associations and institutions. The workshop aims to introduce participants to ways of thinking out of the box in designing development projects and creating programs and activities that keep pace with life changes and serve the community. The workshop included the concepts of innovation and social creativity, its foundations and methods of working, as well as creative methods in presenting projects, plans, ideas, and solving problems in creative ways. The workshop also dealt with understanding human patterns and ways of positive thinking, concepts of intellectual property, preservation of rights, creative ideas, the necessity of identifying the target audience, and presenting creative ideas that work on measurement and implementation indicators. Croatian President Zoran Milanovic received Rome-based Bahrain Ambassador Dr. Nasser Mohamed El Blushi, who presented his credentials as non-resident ambassador to the Republic of Croatia. Dr. Al Blushi conveyed the greetings from His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to the President of Croatia. The Ambassador affirmed Bahrain's commitment to further expand bilateral relations with the Republic of Croatia in all the fields towards serving mutual interests. President Milanovic asked the Ambassador to convey greetings to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and wishes of further progress and prosperity to the Kingdom of Bahrain. The National Bureau for Revenue has conducted 495 inspection visits within the local markets of the governorates of the Kingdom of Bahrain during January and February 2023. The campaigns resulted in reporting violations that required the imposition of administrative fines in accordance with the VAT and excise law, in addition to monitoring several suspicious VAT and excise evasion that may require precautionary closing of several businesses. These campaigns were organized as part of the National Revenue Bureau's ongoing oversight efforts to protect consumer rights and enhance the level of business compliance to ensure the effective implementation of VAT and excise. The Kingdom of Bahrain joins the world today in celebrating the World Metrological Day, which is observed on March 23rd every year, the date of the establishment of the World Metrological Organization in 1950. Every year, the organization announces a slogan for the World Metrological Day. This year's motto, the future of weather, climate, and water across generation, casts light on the importance of protecting the environment and preserving the atmosphere of planet Earth. It also underscores the dire need to fight climate change, which is one of the biggest challenges nowadays. The World Metrological Organization 
sheds light on the previous achievements, the current progress and future capabilities of the metrological community, and the ways to navigate challenges. The commercial markets throughout the Kingdom of Bahrain were keen to provide Ramadan offers at competitive prices during the holy month of Ramadan. From souvenir, furniture and clothes to dry fruits, dates, snacks and spices, the markets feature a diversity of product range throughout Ramadan. Several malls, stores and even online platforms are running month-long Ramadan promotions and discounts in various products categories. These promotions provide more options for the consumer. Dairy industry companies in the Kingdom of Bahrain are keen to double up the, up their productivity to meet the requirements of the holy month of Ramadan, for which demand is nearly double. These preparations consist in providing all the raw materials required to provide these products so that the supply of them covers the demand during the holy month. Production lines work around the clock to provide consumers with their requirements of dairy and its derivatives in the holy month, for which the demand is high in large proportions in these blessed days. These various products are a major requirement on the Bahraini table, which is included in most of the dishes that are prepared, especially in the days of Ramadan. The Imam of Ahmed al-Fatih Islamic Mosque, Sheikh Dr. Adnan bin Abdullah al-Qattan, during the sermon of the first Friday prayer in the blessed month of Ramadan, called on the Muslims of the world to seize the great opportunities offered by the holy month to draw closer to God. The Imam also referred during the sermon to the virtues of the blessed month of Ramadan, which contribute to the refinement of the human soul. For the first Friday prayers of the holy month, worshippers gathered in large numbers in mosques across the kingdom of Bahrain. They thanked Allah the Almighty for the blessings of security, safety, comfort and stability. The Grand Mosque and the Prophet's Mosque in Saudi Arabia were filled with worshippers and pilgrims performing their rituals and prayers with ease on the first Friday of the blessed month of Ramadan. The General President of the Grand Mosque and the Prophet's Mosque, Sheikh Dr. Abdul Rahman as sudais confirmed the readiness of the plans to receive pilgrims by raising the human and operational capacity to achieve full flow and provide comprehensive services for pilgrims and visitors. The General Presidency plans to serve around 3 million worshippers at Islam's holiest sites. The Presidency works to mobilize all its efforts to secure all the needs of pilgrims and visitors amidst an integrated system of high-end services and in accordance with the highest standards of quality and global operational excellence.